Hey, what's up? John from Videofort.com bringing you a new After Effects tutorial. This one's going to be really basic and awesome for beginners who are new to After Effects and might be a little intimidated by some of the things it has to offer. This one's a really easy uh, text tutorial. What we're going to be learning to do is how to randomize text. So we've got our text here, a bunch of different characters flying through, and then eventually they reveal video for it. What other text is it going to reveal, guys? Come on, that's who we promote here. So we got video for it, and it comes in and you know it comes to a stop. Super cool, super awesome, super easy. And uh, you know, make your projects look cool, make your bosses super happy that you know how to make characters be random. I know that's exactly what they want. So start out, we're gonna go up to composition, new comp, and let's go ahead and name this rando text. Not rondo, but rando. So uh, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, and duration however long you want that to be. I've got it at 10, you know, we're not gonna have text flying around randomly for 10 seconds because that's just annoying. All right, so we've got our comp made. Let's go up to text and let's go ahead and write our text in here. I'm gonna do video for it. I think you should too, or not. Now, we can do video for it.com. Just so you know, if you have a dot in there, you're gonna also get all the other special characters randomizing. So, you know, I'll show you what that looks like and we'll just do a little bit of both because this is fun, fast, and easy today. All right, so we've got our text made. You guys can have it say whatever you want. I've got it with videofort.com. And we'll go to our text transform controls. And right where it says text, we're going to click next to animate. And we'll go to character offset. That's going to give us these options here, a bunch of different stuff. Now, you notice character offset down here. This is what's going to randomize our letters. So if we crank that up, it'll start going through and being super great. Now we can keyframe this and you know take our time and be you know real patient just like mom always wanted and just kind of go through here and go forward three seconds and maybe you know put that to zero. Enter. Now we've got a keyframe set up then you go to the middle and maybe crank that up to 100 and let's go ahead and set the workspace there. Boom. We're pretty much got our random letters flying around, it shoots up to 100 on the offset, and then it's going to come back down to 0 and stop for us if uh, this render will ever complete. Yep, video for it. So it's not really all that awesome looking, it's just kind of uh, boom. And all of a sudden video for it comes out of that. So uh, I'm not really getting much for it from it, neither are you I'm sure. Let's just go ahead and turn off that stopwatch. If you want to take your time to keyframe it, go for it. But we're going to throw in an expression here instead. So if expressions intimidate you, do the keyframing. Doesn't really matter. You're going to get similar effect. Uh, I think the expression gives you a little more uh, randomness. So we're going to Alt Option click on this stopwatch here. And it's going to give us this. We're going to type in very common expression used all the time. It's called the wiggle expression. So W-I-G-G-L-E, wiggle. And I'm going to set the value for, uh, you know, it's pretty random, just like four by comma uh, 40. Let's see how that looks. And you got an end parentheses there, and boom, you've got an expression. Maybe you've written an expression before, Maybe you haven't. If it's your first one, congrats. Get used to them. Use them often. All right. So let's go ahead and just kind of scrub through and see how this looks. We got a lot more randomness. Uh, I think it looks nicer. The problem with using the wiggle is it goes on forever. It's, it's never going to stop randomizing our text unless, you know, we do something to do that. So this is where those keyframes that you love oh so much come into play. Let's go to the beginning and we'll drop down our range selector and then advance too. Now advance gives you a bunch of different cool little options that we can play with. You know we can do randomize order and that'll make it so that the texts all randomly you know go and then they'll stop on video for it at randoms like you'll get the F coming up before the V and you know they just stop at random points. Awesome to know. 
uh, we want to look at the offset up here. So if we set that, and if we scrub through to about three seconds, we can crank that up to 100%. And there we have our videofort.com. And if we scrub back through, we can kind of see how things are going through and they randomly stop. So with random order turned on, you see as we approach our second keyframe there, different letters start coming up randomly. Uh, if we turn it back off, they will stop in order. And it'll just kind of go through. So depending on how you want your look and feel to be, that's uh, how it goes. Now, like I said, with that period in there, you're getting all these different special characters coming up. If you don't like that, then you know don't use symbols. You know, we can take out the dot com, delete that, and you know now we just got random letters, so it'll only do letters then. Uh, we also notice that you know some of our letters when they're getting randomly created are pushing into other letters and kind of taking up space. So if we go to where it says character alignment, you can change that around too. You can have it adjust kerning, so that means that these two sides will become wider or smaller depending on how big the characters are. That can be a little visually uh, frustrating, you know, visually confusing, I don't know. Your brain hurts watching it and it doesn't quite know why. Well, it's because these spaces keep changing and it can't quite perceive that small of a space change. So I like to do it at center. It'll keep the bounding box the same and uh, isn't as visually confusing or frustrating or whatever wording we're using today. I, I don't know. Headachey. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, what else do we need to cover here, guys? I mean, you pretty much know everything there is to know. You can randomize it by all of these different things too. So if you got sets of words, it'll do it by that or you know by line. You can change the shaping of it. Uh, that'll just kind of do things differently. So play around with it, check it out. I mean, lots of different things you can do. I'm gonna turn randomize order on because I think it gives it a little bit of a cool effect. And you pretty much have completed how to randomly have text come into play or you know, whatever this effect is exactly called. I'm just calling it random text. So you know, check it out, play with it do something cool with it, post it in the comments below. We want to see what you guys are up to and doing. So that pretty much wraps up the random text tutorial. Make sure to head over to videofort.com, check out some great stock footage over there and use it in your products. Maybe throw some random text onto it and do something cool. Uh, this effect is great for like the military scenes where it's like data coming up and it's like helicopter. Africa or something, I don't know, and give the location details. Um, so yeah, check out the uh, footage over there and use the random text on that. Make sure to post in the comments below what kind of effects you guys are doing and videos that you've made. We love seeing them. And uh, hit subscribe over to the right. Stay up to date with all these cool toots that we put out for you. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Or not. The choice is yours. Later. I'm <laughs> sorry.